Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm doing a favorites video. I have not done a favorites since I did my year in 2020 roundup. And I was like, I think it's time. I have been hauling a lot of products. You guys have seen that. And I've been using a lot of stuff off camera. I just, I can't crank the videos out fast enough to show you. So I wanted to go through and show you guys some of my favorites that I have found through mid 2021 and let you know what I've been loving. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you know every time a new video is uploaded and live. I do haul videos, I do tutorials, I do reviews, I do a little bit of fitness, barbell Barbie, come on. So yeah, today we're gonna do favorites. So if you wanna see what I've been loving for the last six, seven months, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So I have everything in this bag right here. This is just a bag that I hold on to to transport stuff. I don't have a lot of stuff. I feel like because I've been trying so many new products, it's kind of hard to say that I have favorites because it's like, okay, I use this, I like it, I put it to the side. You use something else, you get the picture. But there are some products that either made an amazing first impression or some stuff that I've revisited and I've fallen in love with again. The first thing I wanna talk about is this Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. I have been using this every single night. I got this in my Trend Mood box. It was the only reason, well, and the Tatcha powder, um, that I got the Trend Mood box and I absolutely love this. It smells so good. And I had been having like some little bumps come in on the back of my arms, which I've never had before. And then I also have a bit of texture on the back of my thighs. I hate it. Um, so I've been using this mainly to try to see if it's gonna help with that. I do notice immediately that my skin feels softer, but I don't know. I do feel like the bumps on my arms are kind of going away, but it's not gonna be like an overnight thing. So I'm gonna keep using it. I love it. This would be something I would repurchase. The next thing, I have not even used this on camera yet. I think the haul has been posted. I have no idea, guys. But this is the Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum. I picked this up at a freaking Dollar Tree and I was like, hmm, let's go ahead and try it. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I love the texture of this. It is a little bit of like that silicone feel, so it does help smooth out your pores but it is not super slick. Like it almost dries down kind of like a powder. It says it's a primer serum that instantly tightens pores and smooth skin. It absorbs excess oil for all day flawless wear. I love wearing this. This makes my makeup go on so smooth. It makes everything feel, I don't have it on today, but I'm looking at myself because I feel like this is the area where I usually have a lot of texture. And then of course the forehead, but when I wear this, I just feel like it helps smooth everything out, blurs everything, and I don't, I usually wear this for like, if I'm just throwing something on real quick. I haven't tried it for a full glam, but I've been using this for my everyday makeup. This next product, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I have mine in the shade 310 Burkina, and this is what I'm wearing today. I have not worn this in so long and then I filmed this look today and I was like let me pull this out because I do want to do full glam and y'all I don't know why I quit using this the shade match is pretty good I think um but yeah I mean went on really smooth and there's no creases like it is matte I did not spray my face or anything this is just this foundation with a little bit of setting powder, and then I also use the Juvia's Place Concealer, but this stuff, full coverage, you don't need a lot, and it is so good. This is also another oldie but a goodie. This is the original RCMA No Color Powder. 
I remember when I first started watching YouTube, everybody used this and now nobody uses it anymore. But when I've been doing my eyeshadow looks and I do more than one look, or if I'm worried about fallout, I use this under my eyes and they never ever feel cakey. It doesn't have a flashback. It doesn't stick to my skin and add a lot of extra coverage. And that's why I love it. It doesn't disturb my makeup. I don't have this one today either, but when I did my Norvina five looks um, video that I posted a while back, I used this between every look and it just helped keep everything in place, but also helped brush away any of the glitter or any fallout from the eyeshadow. So yeah, I mean, this is absolutely a lifesaver whenever I'm doing eyeshadow looks that can be messy. Speaking of the Norvina five look video that I did, Y'all knew this was gonna be in my favorites, right? This palette is absolutely amazing. It is by far my favorite. I don't have number four. This is the Volume 5 Pro Pigment Palette. This is just everything. The colors, try to blind, there we go. The colors, the color story, these two browns, I have to admit, came off a lot more purple than I thought they would whenever I did my looks but i still loved it i love this palette i love that it is dark skin friendly and the colors just pop so beautiful on my skin if you haven't picked this up pick it up just if you love purple pick it up if you love neutrals pick it up if you love glam pick it up this palette is so good the next thing that i wanted to include is this pat mcgrath labs blush without caution this is the Skin Fetish Divine Blush, and this is the shade Paradise Venus. I always have trouble opening this. This is what the packaging looks like, her standard black compact, but it does have this little clamp on it to open it, which is kind of hard. But this shade right here is like my perfect everyday bronzy kind of flush of color. This was a new one that I wanted to pick up, and then I think I picked up electric bloom but this one is by far my favorite love the formula and these pick up they're very powdery so when you go in to use it you have to use a light hand but the color just blends in and just melts into the skin not wearing this today either but i just i absolutely love this i love the shade love the formula i mean who we kidding i love pat mcgrath so definitely had to include this Next, I have a fragrance. This is the Tom Ford White Suede. I told you guys in my video how I fell in love with this and it still, like every time I open it, first of all, the packaging, of course, super luxurious, but God, this smells so good. It's like, it's a little powdery, but I smell some citrus in it as well, but it's still some musk. Like every single thing about fragrance that I love, like the warm, floral, musky, citrus clean, like it's all in this one bottle. I'm so mad I didn't. It's expensive. I didn't need to get two, but I kind of wish I would have because I got it for like 60% off or something like that. But God, this is literally... I think this might replace my, oh, which one is it? My Burberry, because that is one of my all time favorites. And I think this one tops it. Next, reaching into the bag, I do have some fails. So we're gonna include that at the end, but I definitely needed to include this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter this is basically like a liquid highlighter but you can also use it as a primer i love this one because it is pretty much my skin tone so when i put it on it does help hide a little bit of my discoloration but it is super glowy and it helps to smooth everything out and it does look like there is a filter on your face so i love wearing this under my makeup not by itself because it's a little too glowy for what i like but I might try this out with a powder and see because I've used it with a liquid, but maybe just a powder that has a light coverage to see how that would look with the glow still coming through, but with a little powder on top. I might do that in a video, but I will keep you posted. 
they do sell smaller sizes of these i know it's expensive but if you want to try it out maybe try one of the smaller bottles first and then you can decide if you like it or not i did not forget i will also do the video that i said that i have some other products that i think are similar to this and they are drugstore so stay tuned for that i got you the next thing I wanted to include is this Smashbox, the Mindful 5 Nourishing Lip Oil. You saw this posted recently in my cosmetics company store haul, but I had had that stuff for a while and I had been using this. I love this oil because it is not too runny, like it's almost kind of goopy, like it's kind of thick, but it goes on and it stays on. I have on gloss right now, so I'm not going to put it on top. But I love putting this on before I do my makeup and I also love putting it on before I go to bed as just like a nighttime oil. Because it's so thick, it stays on. It doesn't just slide off my face. So I've also been in love with this. My last love, which I don't know if I've included this in a video or not. This is the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder. Now, y'all, this is pretty beat up like... I use this almost every day. It is in my bathroom, in my vanity. And I use this usually if I'm doing like a, we just need to hurry up and get out of the house. I will put concealer on under my eyes and then I will set with this instead of going in with a super light powder to kind of keep everything just like a no makeup makeup versus my under eyes look highlighted. I will also use this to set my face if I'm just putting concealer to kind of hide my dark spots but i do want to pick up the lighter shade there is a translucent just the regular translucent and initially i was like mm, i think that's going to be too light let me go with the medium but this one i don't like wearing this one if i'm doing like a glam look like today this would be too dark to set under my eyes so i want to try to get the brighter one this is supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury um flawless finishing powder so in a way, I'm kind of glad I got it in this shape because I can wear it all over my face, but at the same time, I want to be able to use it under my eyes. So I'll probably get a lighter one just for that, but then also use this one for my face. But this, so smooth, blurs everything, makes my pores disappear. Absolutely love it. So now we are going to move on to fails. And I said that I was going to call this series Stash or Trash because this is either going to stay in my stash or I'm gonna put it in the trash. So here's the trash. Number one, this is my fault. This is totally my fault. It is not the product, but it is in my stash and I'm about to go in the trash. This is the Purity Made Simple Mask. It's a deep clean mask. Y'all, this is so old and I tried it anyway. And when I put it on my face, I felt my face tingling and I was like, it's fine, it's working. No, mofo, it is messing you up. I ended up breaking out. I had little white dots, certain spots on my face. I'm not saying that this is a bad product, but mine is old and it is going in the trash. Next, I have the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This one is in the shade brown. For the life of me, I cannot find a brown eyeliner that is brown but still shows on my skin and i don't know what it is i have two of them right here and neither of them i thought this was going to be great it is a brush tip but y'all what where's the color like i mean that's fine that it's brown but i don't even think that would look good if i didn't have any eyeshadow on let alone if i maybe had just like a nice color on my crease and then try to do that's not no we don't have time I don't want black, but I don't want this either. Like this is just not dark enough. And I don't like having to keep going back over it and back over it. It's not dark enough of a brown. It's not rich enough. So I've been holding on to this, but I'm gonna put it in the trash. The other one I picked up during Prime Day in October, this is the House Laboratories Lady Gaga's line. And this is her Demi Matte Liquid Eyeliner in Whiskey. I've had this for a while. This is a felt tip liner, which is not my favorite, but I was like, you know what? If it's brown, I'm gonna be all right. I will say this one is a tad bit darker and a tad bit richer, but the problem is when I start the outer tail, it's dark. 
Then as I use it more, for some reason it starts getting lighter and lighter and I don't know why. I don't know, like looking at these swatches right now, I don't want to throw it away. Like look how much darker that is than that, but it's still brown. I'm going to try it again. I don't know why it's applying so nice on my hand, showing out, but it doesn't want to work on my eyes. I'm going to try it again. And I'll keep y'all posted, but I don't know. I just don't get a good, maybe it's the applicator. I don't get a good application with it and I have to keep going over it. But this is the kind of brown that I wanted. Next, I have this Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. It says that this lasts 12 hours and it's high coverage. It's not high coverage. This is super liquidy. I don't know, like, I feel like it does have some coverage. And I love the shade of it, but every time I've worn it, I feel like my under eyes look so dry. And maybe because it's super matte, it says it can cover tattoos. It says apply in small dabs and apply extra layers if needed. It says it's waterproof. I just, every time I've tried it lately, maybe it's old, I don't know, but this has just not looked good on me when I've worn it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Next, I have this Wet n Wild Lip Treatment. This I thought was going to be a good lip mask. It says, moisturizing lip treatment infused with invigorating grapefruit and mint extract helps to provide lip protection. Y'all, this feels like Vaseline. It feels absolutely horrible. It does not stay on my lips at all. It smells good, but it does nothing for my lips. I bought this when I was traveling in a bind and I wanted something. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but yeah, this was a waste. I think it's like four or five dollars, but it was a waste. You guys saw this in my haul in my cosmetics company store. This is the Smashbox, the Sh the Hood Witch Liquid Eyeshadow. I got the stopper out, and I was able to get more of the product on the applicator. But for some reason, I don't know what the deal is with this. It just I don't like how it applies. It's almost like it's dry. I thought this was going to be like the Stila shadows, but it is not at all. Like, look how it's caked up. I hope you guys can see that, how it's caked up on the applicator. That's not supposed to be that way. I don't know what it is. This is just a super dry, like I can scoop it out and it almost looks like it's a powder. I hope you guys can see that. I don't know if that's how this is just supposed to be, but I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it, and I don't see myself ever wanting to fight to try to get it on my eye. It's pretty right here, but up close it looks like crap because it's just literally piled up on my skin. I hope y'all can see that. Not a good look. So unfortunately, even though I didn't get to use this, I might keep it because it's cute and just put it on display, but I'm not gonna put it on my eyes. Last but not least, I have tried I have tried and I give up. This powder is horrible. This is the Tatcha Silk Powder. It says Radiant Translucent Setting Powder. I don't know who uses this that likes it. If there are any women, our complexion, deeper complexion, even if you're a little lighter than me that use this and you like it, please tell me how because I got this in my trend mood box. So I didn't pay full price for it, but it's still just so disappointing because this brand has skincare benefits in it and I wanted to love it so bad. And I just, I can't, I can't. Like it's just the little bit that I can apply, I feel like it doesn't even do anything. So I just, I'm gonna keep trying it off camera, but it's probably gonna, it's gonna end up in the trash or in my stash for a little while not being used but this is definitely a fail for this month all right guys so that is it for this video those are the things that i have been loving i really thought i would have more stuff but i looked around i went through my collection and i was just like yeah you know i like it i like it i like it but i just haven't used enough stuff to be like oh my god i'm in love with this again because I've been trying so many new products. So these are the things that I know have been absolutely magic for me, either first impression or I've been using it for a while. So if you've tried any of these, let me know below. If you're interested, tell me what you're thinking about picking up. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the family. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.